Okay, YouTube, this next story got a lot of legs in it, and we're going to try to fix this and make sense of all of this. There are back and forths going on with that king that they call Jim Jones. Now, Jim Jones is in a situation where folks have put him and painted a picture that he's allegedly out here rat ta 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 -ding. Now, I don't put that jacket on nobody. I, I watch what I do. I got to research. But these are one of these lengthy things that I just don't know anymore. There's a paperwork floating around several years ago. And now someone brought it to light. There's another new paperwork. And there's a lot of suspects and the systematic of things. But we're going to break it down. But let's break it down the right way and get things popping in a major way. Salute. Let's run. I'm the man, bruh. Straight from the trenches, my soul's relentless. Never jealous. Young and get that fatty. Can't be reckless. Fuck the next bitch. There's M's on the Make sure you go to the links in the description box and check out Kid Outlaw. Hottest rapper out of Florida with his new hit street anthem. Run it up. Salute to everybody. Now, the, the whole Jim Jones situation got a lot of people emphatically upset about the scenarios and to the point even guys like jim jones responded to the things that are going on a whole lot of people responded a lot of people like whack 100. man let's not talk about no birds man i don't associate myself with rats i don't play with people that play with rats i don't play with people that give rat a platform i don't play with people that's close to rats because you're a rat to me there's no conversation for me and that man. When I make a statement, I make him a statement. I don't have to say shit, nigga. All them niggas can eat my dick. Whack, know what's up, man. I word up, and I'm not getting into that because these niggas are trying to get niggas indicted over bullshit. I don't do nothing but, but music, nigga. I make good music. I've been doing this for 20 years, and I make a lot of money. Fuck head ass old nigga, man. I'm tired of all this shit. But we ain't get on here to talk about that. I got on here to talk about something positive. You keep the, yeah, 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 yeah. Stay the yeah. course. You heard? I want everybody to stay the course. Don't. I'm mute your shit, bro. I'm mute your shit. Listen, look, hey, look. Yo, Why Jim no? whack right now, bro. Yo, Jim, and then man. here come in the room, he said, bro. Yeah. He it. We'll go back to that highlight. We got others that are highlighted. Let's get to that, too, because there's a lot of response to the situation and, and backs and forths to who's doing what to who and, and a lot of the whoop de doo You know what I mean? So people like 50 Cent responded to this like probably three years ago and said similar things in fashion yeah i just seen the breakfast club jimmy be popping all that bullshit i'd be seeing jimmy talking about we gucci boo boo here in the gucci store they're like, we gucci boo boo the black king niggas was going they was going fuck you up jimmy they was like marita monero fucking cocoro pedro it be money in case they wanted to know tell them we gucci <laughs> we we Gucci boo boo. You heard? Let me show you how Gucci we is. <laughs> we Gucci boo boo. <laughs> now 50 cents did these back and forths a minute ago, but you got a lot of people who brought it back and people like Snow Billy a month ago, well probably a two months ago in August. He said a statement like this. Sitting there because 6 9 set set with the, with the people. You understand what I'm saying? And he also knows that in order for Jim to not have been apprehended or questioned, being that he is on not a regular conversation wiretap, but he's on a RICO wiretap. You understand what I'm saying? This is a Rico wiretap. So me being a part of the situation, I could give my spare because I know the truth. And I'm not saying this out of no dislike for Jim Jones because Jim Jones was always all right. You know, with me, he just always seemed scary around me, you know, which I didn't feel comfortable with. And Melly, you tell me, you know, that nigga Jim, when he get around you, he act, you know. So rather than that, I don't take nothing away, you know, from... You know, from the situation, I don't. I'm not saying this out of no hate or no dislike, but being that I was in the same situation, a little more worse than Jim Jones, I know Jim Jones made a a cooperating agreement 
which stands as this. If. Now, he said it stands as if. You know what I mean? And that's a big if because of the things pertaining to him going on. You got a lot of people speaking. Now, before I get to the 691, and, and l let's just do, a, do me a favor and get to the paperwork right quick. I wanted to show you this is the paperwork that we're floating around. Now, there's a lot of suspect things about the paperwork, but then again, I don't work for the Department of Justice. I don't work for the justice system in any way, shape, form, or fashion, so I couldn't break this down equally equivalently to what they're saying but it might be true it might not i don't want to throw the jacket till we get some more substantial information it's like people who actually got implemented by jim jones or hurt by the burden of it but there's a lot of people saying things and jim jones himself responded to some of these things i know 50 cents a a, a while ago showed things like this on the screen let, let, let me fix that and um fix it horizontal but Years ago, you know, 50 had several things to show. He made a post, and the post was basically saying he said Jimmy, referring to the fact that Jimmy's name was said by 6ix9ine. This was years ago, by the way, too, guys. So he's going off an old one when he said he said Jimmy is a retired rapper. Jesus Christ, retired rapper. Now they go forward, and 50 put another comment. As 50 was going forward with it, 50 put Jimmy finna do the race. They got his name all in that ish. Now he's trending. You know, and this was like an old reference to one, but Jim Jones responded. Jim Jones had a lot himself to say to some of these claims. And Jim Jones said one like this to the new snitching paperwork. Quick, real, uh, real quick, real quick as I get back to my day. Um, I see you ain't post the original nasty message about politics that you jumped into my DM. Let's not forget, she jumped into my DM first. I'll leave it there. Let me get back to my day, get this money, and stay positive, positive energy. Uh. Response after response got a lot of people sitting here trying to figure out clauses and effect paperwork you know it's just it's a lot going on so wisely people are going to pick sides when the situation is like that and unfortunately jimmy has to defend himself and what he represents out here now jim jones is not a stranger to quite frankly putting his educational purpose hands on negroes and when time get brazy he gotta do what he gotta do now jimmy responded in many fashions but it was the likes of this type of fashion that people try to take it serious get distracted by doing for others before we do for ourselves, and that's not right what we need to do we need to learn to thoroughly thoroughly love ourselves get in love with yourself if you're not in love with yourself how are you gonna properly love someone else and you can't worry about getting someone else's situation right if your own situation ain't right. You can't help nobody if you can't help yourself. It's not right. A lot of times I see a lot of people hanging on by a thread and other people trying to hang on to them. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. You dig? So if you're worrying about yourself and you're worrying about your responsibilities, that is not being selfish. You dig? If you can't hold yourself down, how are you going to hold somebody else up? Another thing is, stop standing up for people that's not willing to stand up for yourself. You heard? Stop going to the fight if they ain't willing to throw the first punch. You dig? I know a lot of people are scared to do certain things, but come on, Jack. You dig? Don't call me for the cause if you ain't down for the cause. And, all, and, all, and for you entrepreneurs, artists, rappers, athletes, how you gonna get noticed if everybody trying to fit in? I see a lot of y'all trying to fit in the object. Nah, he was talking about the fit in game and how things pretended to him. Things like this when 6 9 said this on the, you know, clubhouse oh, Jim Jones was caught on wiretap. Tell, Jim Jones was caught on wiretap on my case, telling, he was telling the, um, um, the big homie Mel Matrix, John Mel Jones, to go and get rid of my security. How you do it? How you shoot at them? They don't got no license to carry weapons, no nothing in New York. How is that free right now? Oh. Hey, yo, Jim Jones, listen. I don't know what your issue with me is, bro. Um, the kid the one called you a snitch, right? Acts is facts, my nigga. I protected you in the interview. Can't stop the clubhouse from saying what you gonna say. But uh, that's the internet, homie. The slavery don't stop. 
these niggas are still feel niggas and how shit like that. It don't stop. When you ready to take your own your own people down, come on, man. What are we talking about? We ain't talking yeah, about nothing positive thing, yet. We ain't talking about anything positive yet. Night. Um, let me know who you are now I know there's a lot of youtubers out here who have to play semantics because they're friends of certain people involved they got to be lawyers for these people but I'm just gonna be a good journalist and say I need to see more cold hard facts before we just jump the gun and put that jacket on anybody but I'm not gonna also play devil advocates by trying to be a superhero and cap for this nigga I will say there's a lot of damning things like this right. You're right, but listen, if you say nothing, right? I'm not going to even play that because the substantial evidence is going to be more important. Jim Jones, salute to you. Stay real out here. Uh, whatever the systematics of things going on, you got to understand why it's out here, why we got the, you know, a back and forth of allegations. Because like Charlemagne the God said once upon a time ago, the lie is always bigger than the truth. I don't know what you're gonna do to clarify things, but clearly where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's a lot of educational purpose fire in the algorithm YouTube atmosphere. So I don't know what he's gonna do. Maybe he needs more guys who he's friends with or YouTubers to have his back. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the truth. And the truth is we don't know. Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I smoke hip-hop live love your family love your kids stay blessed go to my instagram and support the platform in the movement stay blessed gang 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 smoke gang suck off at our tooth moon People, the news talking about quarantine. Watch who wake up, could these hoes evil? Stay hard like evil couldn't evil. I was that bad ass shit.